Hello, so it's time to show you around my new boat. So this is a McGregor 26X. I've had a couple of other McGregors in the past. Both of them were the the S 26S Classic, um, which were great boats, but we just wanted a bit more headroom. So I'll just have a quick walk around this on the outside. It's in pretty good condition. I'm going to um, get some tea cut and some and do some polishing and buffing um, to try and bring this back up to black and this and also get this back to a shine I've, I've jet washed it um, it's got a bit of a reflection on there but it, it could be a lot better so I'm going to go around and, and, and buff it um, the trailer it's got the sort of original McGregor trailer that it shipped with here um, the two other ones I had before one of them had the McGregor trailer one of them didn't um, the one that didn't had a uh, it was a decent trailer, uh, but it had rollers, um, and I found um, the issues with that were, one, I got one of the rollers caught, so it sort of, um, when it was underwater, it sort of turned round while I was recovering the boat, so when it went, went back on, it was sort of the wrong way, so I had to mess around trying to get it to the right level and two I found with the rollers it moved about a bit more on the actual trailer when you were, were going along uh, to really strap it down well um, but this trailer is good I had the, um, the bearings done at the dealer that I brought it from because it came all the way from Scotland because um, it because it was locked down I had it had it transported here um, but yeah so it came a, came quite a long way for me where I'm in I'm sort of in the Midlands um, in the UK so let's move along so it's got the spare tyre here um, I'm going to replace this uh, it's, it works for now but it just looks a bit a bit old so well probably once I've launched it I'll, I'll replace it later in the summer um, what I do like about the original McGregor uh, trailers is they have this ladder at the front so when you're launching it you can actually climb on you can actually climb onto your boat here um, and avoid getting wet in in some instances um, so I'll go around this side um, the only other real thing I can think I can need to, might need to do with the trailer is just have a look at these bunks um, they've got they've had some sort of replacement pads and repair on it but I'll probably do a bit of better job than that um, and one thing I need to do to the boat it's got this big nasty scrape here um, which has gone right through the gel coat so I need to do a little bit of work on that but that's I'm not too bothered about that um, okay so um, we'll have a look at the back so it's got a 50 horsepower Evan Rood, this is only a few years old, it's about 2017, I don't think it's had many hours on it. Um, it's a two-stroke, um, it's really quiet, uh, apparently, I've looked at the videos and they're, they're supposed to be really quiet. Um, I've got to test this one, I've got some suction cups and that, that I can put on here, which I'll probably do in the next couple of weeks, and actually check it does work, but I've, I've got no reason to believe it hasn't. Huge propeller, propeller on it compared to the other outboards I've had in the past. Uh, apparently these boats do about 20 knots um, under power without the ballast in um, so we'll see what we actually get this year uh, it's got a tilt electric tilt and trim uh, which is handy okay it's got these rudders here uh, either side I think this is because this is later version I think the actual rudder shape is slightly different to the earlier ones I believe uh, it's got a boarding ladder uh, just need to do a little bit of work here it's, it's, it's solid it's solid enough it just looks a bit a bit rubbish so I shall do some fiberglass repair on those bits there at some point later this year uh, so 
this thing here is where the uh, ballast, uh, the water ballast goes in and out. As you can see, it's got a sort of a, a hatch here. And if you want to let the ballast in, you lift that up, it runs in, uh, and then you close it, seal it in. Uh, if you want to um, let it out, you can either lift that up it's getting taken out of the water on the trailer and it will empty out or if you're going over about seven eight miles an hour it will empty itself out as you're going along um, this thing here uh, is an extra that's been added it's a um, uh, speed and, and depth sounder for there's a gauge up there um, which shows that all that information to me um, so let's have a little bit of a look at the steering. So the steering on this one, um, I know on the earlier ones, certainly on the McGregor videos, it showed a bar that came out that you either moved onto this to do the rudders or onto the engine to do the engine. But this one's actually got, um, it, it does everything. So it moves the engine and the rudders at the same time. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's a modification. I suspect it might be standard on the um on the newer the, the newer year ones um so let's climb aboard a lot easier to get on this one as well a couple of steps up and you're onto this sort of platform whereas on the the older ones you should have had to go go right up here and then over over the bars to get on so let's climb on board so as I said, I've given it a, a jet wash. Um, what I haven't jet washed is the cockpit area. Uh, well, I've done the floor, um, but I haven't done the sides properly. Uh, I'm gonna do this by hand, because you notice it a bit more. So this looks a little bit dirty at the minute, um, but once I've done it, hopefully this will shine up nicely. Um, the, it's got two lockers either side here, uh, and each locker has a drain, and I need to clean this out, uh, but they have a drain either side so self bailing uh, self draining uh, I need to clean that out it fit, just about fits a, a large fuel tank in there what uh, that's uh, what that's a 22 litre or 6 gallon one that it fits in in there uh, and I've got another one that side that I've taken out that's about as grubby as this that I'm going to clean up Okay, so just looking back, it's got this uh, this deck area here, which makes it nice and easy to get onto the boat, either by the ladder or actually by um, uh, by the mooring, if you've got it moored up. This chair comes down like that, clips in. It's got a, a little chain thing there that actually just clips on this um, lifeline at the side here which I've got off at the moment because I've been loading things on and off it. Um, on the rear of it it's got the uh, the uh, fitting for the rear stay there on that side. Um, got the uh, lines here for the uh, rudders to go up and down. If I move the steering wheel you can see they all move at once. Uh, so chair, a little bit of little bit of wear here. Might do something about that eventually, but it's got cockpit seats for all of this. Um, that just covers all of this up. So um, and they're in really good condition. So I'm just cleaning those up at the moment. Um, this one has these. I think these are not factory standard. Um, I suspect someone's made these, and they fit in um, inside these these lockers here um, and they just sort of push in just to sort of hide them hide what's in there a bit um, and they're okay I'll leave them as they are so looking forward uh, it's got the wheel steering here which is great nice and easy um, it's got a uh, on off sort of kill switch under here which looks a bit old to me so I'll probably replace that at some point um, it's got because the engine's fairly new it's had it's got sort of almost new engine controls here uh, it's got a key start and, and that underneath there um, it's got a, the engine gauge there um, 
what else under here on this on this particular boat anyway and again i'm not sure whether this is standard or not under this hatch here it's actually got uh, one of the batteries this has got two batteries in it one of them's here and one of them's inside um, and i'll sh just show you this one i need to do a bit of work in this as well because it looks a little bit um like it just needs a bit of a freshen up you see that there so uh just to make a bit bit better connection in there um so that's one of the things i'm going to be doing over the next couple of weeks uh, so if I just move forward a bit more uh you see this this is the gauge i was talking about uh, we'll try and clean that cover up and get it really white this one's got a brand new cover on it because it didn't came, come with it this is the um, compass um, it, which lights up and it works works fine okay so what else have we got uh, got some runners here got various bits of deck hardware here I don't think that's standard I think some of this has been added by the look of it um, but that's okay so just moving up forward it's got a huge hatch here that slides all the way along which I'll show you a bit more of in a minute the mast uh, runs all the way along there it's got a piece so on this mast stand here this is removable uh, and it actually has a hole in the mast that a bolt goes through this hasn't got the bolt at the minute so I need to get one uh, to fit through just to secure it it's been secured at the minute with this just with this line here um, and this this thing here is for the uh, the boom so you can let your main out and whatever um, I need to go through and clean all the uh, the lines or replace them all the sheets um, so moving forward we've got the mast base there this one has got a a slightly different one to the other McGregor's I had. The other McGregor's literally just had a base which looked a bit different and a bolt that went directly through a hole in the mast here whereas this has got a sort of a pivoting base which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so and the other thing it's got here in this hole here is for the swing keel so this red sheet here does the um, pulls the swing keel up and down and that's fed all the way along to the cockpit there. The other McGregor's that I had actually had that inside. Um, so McGregor obviously realised it's probably better on the outside. One of the one of the other McGregor's I had actually had a mod that actually put it sort of to the outside. Uh, so we we'll go forward a bit, and we'll have a look at the uh, hatch. That's the front hatch there and the anchor locker now i haven't cleaned the anchor locker out properly yet but or looked at the anchor properly but that's what it looks like it's got a drain at the front uh, it's not huge but it's better than having the anchor hanging about on, on deck so looking forward you've got where the forestay goes just there and you've got an anchor roller there um, so this is the piece I'm talking about here on the bottom of the mast um, So it will actually pivot on that and it's got the bolt through it here for when you're trailering uh, The bolt goes through and just holds this in stops it moving about uh, This boat's got the the roller system on it as you can see Okay, so if we just move back a bit now So looking at this hatch, it slides all the way back, all the way to there, and that's a huge, you might not see it very well on camera, but that is a huge area, um, so it gets a lot of light and, and air in if you want it to. Uh, this is big, this is pretty big, um, compared to the other boats, that comes off, it needs a really good clean and polish up, the other side of it is immaculate uh, so maybe I can get this side like that I don't know but, so stepping in to the boat um, 
there's headroom in here. Uh, I'll show you how much. So if I try and just spin this around. So if I pull this hatchback over, I'm about five foot six, five foot seven. And you can see there's a fair bit here. As you go forward into it, you sort of have to, have to duck a little bit here. This is just, just as I'm getting uh, towards the step. A little bit there. And as I go further forward, so when I've stepped up the step now, I, see, I do have to duck down um, like this. Um, but realistically, when you're in this front section, you're only really coming here to sort of sit down in one of the seats. So you sort of step in here and then you, you'd sit down. Um, so it's not a big, big problem. So around again. Uh, so we'll start at the front, work our way back. So right at the front of the boat, um, you see there's a little bit of access to something there on this boat. Um, this whole front area is filled with foam flotation because these, these boats, if you drill a hole in them, um, they will float still, even if they're full with water. Um, there's foam flotation under this first part, under that sort of hatch there. Uh, it's got the fore hatch here, which undoes by this, lets a lot of light in. Um, laying down in this bed, if I put my feet right to the bottom there on this side is larger than this side um, because it's got this bit here but this actually removes I'll show you that in a minute but again if I just, I'll show you about where I am so my feet are touching the bottom um, my head's about here so there's enough room for an adult there um, and there's enough room for an adult that side really I, I la tried laying that side and it's, it's still comfortable um, but what you can do with this is actually remove this like so and push that cushion cushion across and you've got an even longer bed that side and then it just slots back in again like that easy uh, these cushions come off like this just lift up and so you can take them out and wash them or use them for the double bed there i'll come on to in a second um, so under here under this hatch here I've um, got a little bit, a bit of storage there. Um, that's where the, the foam flotation's in. This bit here um, is to let the air in and out for the um, water ballast system. Like that. Okay, so just moving back a bit. We've got a sofa on this side. Um, it's got some storage under there, not a huge amount, but it's got a bit. And so looking this side, um, we've got the uh, dinette. Um, this is actually a lot larger, this table, than it appears in the, photo, in the, in the videos that I've watched, actually. Um, and it drops down on these rails here to make a, a good, good sized double berth there. Again, you'll get two adults laying down there easily. Um, so if I just have a look at these seats, so under here there's some storage a bit more there's a bilge a bit there i've got a little bit of bilge wall still to clean out when i got this it was it had been sat for a year or two um and in here was absolutely dripping wet um not too much in the way of mold but it was it was dripping wet and i i literally cleaned it from bow to stern with detail wipes bleach spray and, and all sorts and it's come out shiny new clean um, uh, but I just need to get a little bit of the bilge water out of there still. So, um, yeah, well, so if I show you sitting here, this is the view from sitting here. You get two adults this side, and again, you'll see sort of how much room you've got. So, yeah, there's a reasonable amount of headroom. This gets more, you sort of, you, you're touching there. I'm sort of sat back in the seat, I'm touching there. Um, the adult this side wouldn't. Um, but if I sat forward a bit, there's no problem. So if I sat this side as an adult, you've got quite a bit more above you.
that round. So this side here, um, got an enormous ice bucket underneath this uh, ice chest. Huge. Uh, I mean that is. I'll try and show you the size. Here's a size nine shoe inside it. UK size nine. So that is huge. Uh, and then under that. Uh, there's a small amount of area uh, where you can um, get to the bilge a bit like the other side but not really a massive amount of storage under there uh, so this comes off again this cushion it's got a little pop of that side and it just slides off a bit like the other one you can wash it um, I've washed all these and they've come out sort of as new really um, there's a bit of storage under here it's not very it's more access than storage um, so this table, as I said, drops down. This leg comes off um, if you want it to. The, these are what undo it. So you just undo these two screws there and the table sort of lifts out. Um, it's got a plastic area here that's just screwed down. Uh, it's just got screws and you can actually put things under it like maps and, and that sort of thing, um, charts. Uh, this particular boat's got a 12 volt um, power supply put in there. Um, I'll probably change that for something a bit more pretty one day, but it's okay for now. Uh, so that's the dinette area. Um, you've got this pole in the middle, sort of to support the mast, which is really nice and shiny. looks looks great, I think. Um, it's not in the way. And it's great to hold on to if you're moving through the boat. Um, the only annoying thing with this boat is it's missing half of the, the bottom one. It's covered up a bit by this extinguisher, um, but I need to try and source that again at some point in the future. But that can wait for a while. So that's that sort of the front area of the boat. So now let's have a look at the galley. Now, when I was looking for this boat I looked at a few and a lot of people modify this galley um, to, to give more storage put cookers in that sort of thing um, I like my boats and cars and whatever I'm buying generally to be standard or as, as, as close to it coming out of the factory as possible um, so I looked quite hard and I found this one um, it hasn't got the um, the optional uh, alcohol stove in it which is great for me because that means I've got that area to put whatever I want to put on it so I should probably just put a, a portable gas one on there for now uh, so looking at the, air, the the actual storage space you've got this compartment here I think these do unscrew if you really want to um, use them without um, but you get maybe a couple of one well probably one wine bottle in there it's quite deep but it's got it sort of goes out a bit here so it's not quite as wide as you'd think actually down there um, it's got two storage places this side again you see there's a rim so that's about as much room as you've got there same below it and it's got this door if we go in this little door there's not a lot in there um, this boat's had a, a, a piece of wood put there um, it's got a, the water, water bottle here for the, the sink, which I'll probably relocate somewhere a bit more out of the way. Um, but and I'm going to replace this this wood. But there's a bit of room in there. You'll get you get a few few things. I'm going to perhaps put some plastic boxes or something there to store things in. So that's that's the kitchen storage on top. Um, sink plug. Um, You've got these tiles, I think on some of them the tiles do lift up, so if you're buying one you, you might, might want to check that. But these are all nice and secure and, and in good condition, and clean. Um, the taps, now when I was doing my cleaning these have come up really nicely because they were starting to look a bit sort of mouldy. Uh, I probably need to give them a little bit more of a going over but I just need this top bit, you see it's got a bit of corrosion starting to appear on it I've got some things I think I can get rid of that with but failing that I will um, purchase a, a new one at some point um, 
but yeah it's, it's usable uh, so that's the the galley area um, comfort wise and I'm I'm that's a I'm standing in the galley area say if I'm cooking I'll spin my camera around again there we go um, see I've got standing headroom while I'm cooking while I'm washing there's just this sort of rib here where my head touches a bit I have to duck under and then this side I'm uh, if I, the other thing you can do is sort of sit down on this this edge of this uh, uh, dinette seat here if you want to and while you're cooking and watching whatever it is you're doing and you can see yeah uh, so let's move back a bit more uh, so this boat the floors come out really clean it's quite dirty um, it's come out really clean with a bit of a bit of a wipe over and a scrub um, I've taken this out and jet washed it this blue thing I'm gonna leave it here it hasn't got any it came with a load of carpets and vinyl and stuff like that but I've got rid of it I might get some new carpet or or something you can get sort of false like uh, foam uh, teak deck maybe I'm reluctant to actually stick anything down to it because I think it ruins it. I, I like the fact that you can just wipe this down and it's it's nice. But what I want to be aware of is I don't want it, it worn out by people walking on it unnecessarily. So we'll see. But this one's got this sort of uh, grate put in, um, which I'm going to leave for now because actually it's really good to, you know, for if there's any water that comes in or whatever it's only in this area and you're standing above it someone has i think manually put a little drain in you see there's a, a hole there i think they've actually drilled a hole into the bilge so any water that comes in here gets drained um which is probably pretty sensible actually because if you get if you if you're out here any water that is going to come in it's going to be here in this and it's sort of kept in this trough area here so uh, so what have we got next? So, uh, there's a little seat next to the um, galley. Let's move my uh, hoover. Uh, it's got a little seat there. And if I lift that up, that's where the secondary battery is. On this one, I'm going to replace that. I've got a larger leisure battery that will go in there. Uh, you could probably fit two batteries in there if you really, if you really tried. Um, it's got a kill switch on here. I'm going to replace that because it's a bit old and out of date. Let's put that back on. It's got the whole number under there as well. Okay, so that's that area. So we'll have a look right at the back. So this model, the later model, have these steps like this here. And they actually they'll swing up like this out of the way and you can get access to the back a bit better the uh, earlier ones have the um, water ballast um, uh, air intake here in sort of a little lump a bit like the the classic ones have their water ballast stuff here um, and it, but it's, the McGregor have obviously moved them so there's quite a lot of space to get in here uh it's large i mean these these seats the, these cushions here really they're doubles you could get two two adults probably a bit cozy you get two adults on either side there you could easily get four along along the whole lot um no problem so i'll just go under here a bit access is obviously not not as great if you're sleeping under here certainly that side um is a bit more sort of cozy um you got it, it does go up see there so once you're in there you have got a bit of a bit of headroom if you want to sit up or whatever um this side is better um it's got headroom this side as well but it's a bit more a bit more open because you've got that area there so right at the back there you can see it's got a bit of material on this on the sort of transom area and that really is right at the back of the boat um, cause you see this sort of bulge area here that comes in that's actually the uh, sort of the trough that where the outboard sits in um, and this is sort of where you walk up on and then you've got the main deck up here so it goes right back huge amount of room um, the only downside to this is this is where the console is 
and you always have this cable coming out of it going to the outboard and whatever um, out the back I've um, tied this right up um, so it's all out the way um, uh, so you've got a bit more room but it's not too bad it is what it is those cables there I'm not completely sure what they're for I think they're for the um, uh, the depth gauge and that um, and I'm going to tidy those up a little bit the hatch needs a couple of screws in on one side because it's coming off but you get access to some of the whole hardware deck hardware there uh, underneath it's got some um, hatches one there one, one bit further at the back and the same on that side it doesn't get you anywhere it, it, it literally it's not for storage the older ones you could actually store stuff under here but this there's nothing there's no room really to store anything it's just really for access to the the bottom of the boat um, I've put a load of boxes to store on this side store some of my sailing stuff and, and that um, so that's that time to go to the toilet so inside here we've got nice door it's in pretty good condition again not too much scratches or whatever I always find the McGregor doors though seem to drop a bit I found that on both of my old ones so this is not quite aligned properly you sort of have to lift it up like a bit to actually close it um, I might see if I can do something about that it's, it's that bit there I think so that Let's see if I can get hold of some new hinges or something that match, but not a big problem. So inside the toilet, uh, this is I put a brand new one of these, and it came with one, but it was a bit uh, a bit disgusting. So I put a brand new one in. Uh, I need to do something to hold it in because there's nothing on the floor or anything with this one to, to actually clip it to or whatever. So, um, but there's a reasonable amount of room in there. This is this is the main reason why I wanted an X. I looked at the 26X and the 26M. And the 26M was a bit more comfortable, as in it had a bit more sort of padding, a bit carpeted round and that. But the the X had this, whereas the M tend to, the toilet's still there and it's not really, it's sort of still a, a sit down job for the gentleman. Uh, whereas in this, you've actually got a bit of headroom. So if I show you, if I spin the camera around, I'll show you what headroom I've got. Um, so it's not great, it's not huge. Um, I'm having to duck a bit like that, but I can still stand up if I need to. So, uh, sink, got a nice sink there. Again, the tap same, cleaned up nicely, but the top just needs corrosion sorting out. Um, little cupboard here, not really much room to store stuff. You get a little box or something in there, but um, yeah. I've got some replacement ones of these to fit in they're a bit corroded here it has a it had a, a piece of wood it was just bare wood it looks it looks nice it's in good condition but I've just taken it in to give it a bit of a varnish um, just to make it look a bit nice and, and, and keep it protected uh, but that's so that turns into sort of a, sh a shelf there um, so access here little access here for this this compartment um, which on this um, would give us access to the compass if we needed to um, there's no light in here as well so I don't know I might try and fit a little light in there um, but there are two lights in the rest of the boat which which are both halogen ones on this I think believe these are the originals um, and they they're okay I need to try and just whiten this up a bit um, but they're, they're okay they work nicely and actually when they're on it gives a uh, a good amount of light in the in the whole boat, but uh, the toilet unfortunately doesn't get much of that. So um, we'll see with that. Um, just something to point out with this boat. Um, it came came with a plaque here, and uh, it was obviously the show boat in the London and Southampton boat shows in 2002 when it was uh, when it landed in this country. Um, so I'm leaving that. That's a bit of bit of uh, nice history and provenance for it. Uh, so that's about it for the interior I think uh, I'll just show you the control panels I think on the earlier ones of these they put the control panels over here on this sort of front pillar but I think they very quickly ditched that uh, and they're in the back here now so it's got a four control panel and then somebody's put a, an extra switch and 
and 12 volt on the side there um, it is what it is I'll leave it be if it were me I'd have probably just made this a bit bigger and put put a, a five or a six in there but uh, it's fine so I've got cabin lights inside uh, running lights ie nav lights of which there's one either side one there uh, the front uh, which is a, like a tricolour one on the front um, mast headlight and uh, it's got a mast nav light and it's got the auxiliary two is actually this instrument um, here there's a depth in that um, I'll just try and show you quickly um, what it looks like actually sitting down here so, so you've got a good amount of room a couple of adults here a couple of adults that side as well and if we just look uh, a bit on this side I didn't show you this bit headroom this side there's loads and I've sat on this sofa here loads um, it feels really really airy So that concludes the tour of my McGregor 26X um, that I've just got. Hopefully we'll be doing um, a lot of river and, and lake and reservoir trips in this, this year. Um, and hoping to build up to actually um, going in, uh, doing some sea uh, motoring and sailing uh, in it. Um, it. Actually this boat came with a huge folder. Of paperwork and part of that the original owner kept a log of where they'd been um, and they'd been all around the Solent and the Isle of Wight in the UK um, and that in it so um, I'm hoping to to follow that in the very near future um, and do some videos on of it as we go so thank you very much for watching <laughs>